Hey guys, how many pickles would a Slick Rick pickle if a Slick Rick could pick pickles? We made it all the way back down here to West Texas and we are hauling our triples load back over to the main yard. And we're gonna get back into doing some local deliveries around West Texas here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you want a chance to win a copy of Farming Simulator 22 when it releases, then let's get 150,000 subscribers by the time FS22 releases, which is November 22nd, by the way. And I will give away 10 copies of Farm Sim 22 if we can hit that goal. But with all that out of the way, let's get this back to our yard and get into the job today. All right, we are pulling back into the yard, just taking it real wide, trying to make sure that we can make this turn here. And we're gonna get all these trailers disconnected. And then we are going to get onto our local deliveries here today. Oh, we might not make that turn. Car, 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 car. You really need to not be inside my trailer like that. Um, all right, we're gonna have to stop right there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that. Let's put on our four ways. Uh, I think we should just clear that. I think we should be fine. How are we looking? Oh, we got past that. We're good. We got in. Finally, we can get these 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 all disconnected and get on to our next job here today. All right. So first thing we have to do is take this trailer right here, which was delivered to our yard. And we're going to run local deliveries. And then we've actually got to go pick up a new trailer and haul something for a local farmer. But we're all hooked up, ready to roll. So let's get on out of here and get right on into it, shall we? All right, so our first drop is gonna be just right here in town. We've got a lot of traffic that we're trying to wait on here. They're so slow, this is getting really annoying. Come on, buddy. Go, 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 go. There you go. There we go. Now we can make our turn and luckily, oh, I'm turning this thing extra wide because I'm used to hauling the, uh, <laughs> The triples. Oh, there it is. Oh, that guy just ran that stop sign. I don't know if you all saw that or not, but he did. And I just lost my voice. Come on, guy. Go, 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 go. Go. I got places to be. Oh, and then you're turning. There it is. Gotta love it. Gotta love it when people don't use their turn signal till the last second. All right, but our first drop, we're gonna turn on our blinker here. Looks clear to make the turn. Pull right on down into here. Make sure we clear that. There we go. And we're going to stick in this lane because we actually have to take this little back drive right here. Let's see that we're making, make sure we're getting on in here. There we go. And this is going to be our first drop. This yard is not too bad. It's a little tight, but I think we should be able to make it. They don't actually have any docks for us to back up to. So I think we're just going to kind of pull in here and position ourselves to be able to get back out. And that should be good enough for now. We're going to put on the four ways and open it up. All right, there we go. We've got the trailer opened up. They're going to come on out and they're going to get their deal unloaded. And we will uh, we will hit on the road on over to our next drop here once they get all of their stuff out of here. All right, they've got all of their stuff. They closing up the doors back there for us. And let's just make sure we're clear. We are, we should be good to make our turn on out of here and get to our next drop. Let's turn them four ways off and get this thing turned right on around. Come on, truck. There you go. Try not to turn the truck super tight. That's, that's rough on those back, back tandems to do that. But we're gonna get on out of here and on over to our next drop. And of course, somebody's gotta be coming. Go ahead, hurry up. All right, let's make the right hand turn. I'm gonna swing it wide into this parking lot here so we can make sure we make that turn. Come on, ooh, we curbed it just a little bit. It's a tight turn there. It's a little bit of a difficult one to, to try and get. But we're gonna go right on up the hill. And I think the next right should be where we wanna turn right here. Turn her nice and wide again. How are we looking? Looks like we made that one. Very good. And right down here will be our drop off. All right, our next drop is right here in Napa. And we're gonna try and get on in here. So let's cut that like so, there we go. Watch out for those cars there. Try and cut it a little wide. 
So make sure we can clear all of that. All right, how are we looking? All right, we're done at this drop. Napa is good to go. And we've got to make this right, right here. So I'm watching that, trying to turn it. Oh, I did her a little late, mm, but I wanted to sneak wide. Oh, oh, ooh. Yep, you want to talk about close. That's what that was. Holy cow. Oh, we made it. Perfect. All right, let's just pull right on in here to Walmart. And we'll just have to pull right on through to the back. We'll back up. They actually do have loading docks here that we need to pay attention to. So we're going to back on up to the loading docks. And this is going to be the longest of our drops. So we're going to be here a while. They have a lot of stuff. So let's sneak over this way. Keep sneaking, keep sneaking. There we go. All right. Oh, I turned that too late. I knew it. That's going to be close. Hold on. I'm thinking I'm going to hit that. Uh, no, we should get past that, I think. All right. Keep going, keep going. Just a little bit. Woo. Oh, tight turns, man. You got to love them. You really do. There we go. Perfect. Let's just bring it right on back. And let's go and straighten that trailer out just a little bit. Line it up with the door more flush. Here we go. Just right on back until we tap it. And there's the bumper. All right. It's been about an hour and they have got us completely unloaded and we are good to get on out of here. So we're just going to pull the truck forward out of the loading bay. Let's head back up to our distribution center. We're going to drop this trailer. We're going to go pick up a trailer to haul some equipment. And we'll run on over to the farmer's place and get that hauled for him here today. All right, we are on our way to pick up our new trailer. And I've actually misread the order. We're not picking up any equipment for a farmer. We're picking up uh, grain for a farmer. Uh, or I shouldn't say grain. I should say, uh, what do you call, cattle feed, that sort of thing. I mean, it is grain, but it's not just like straight out of the field grain. It is a feed mix. All right, we're hooked up to our new trailer and we are going to get on out of here. So let's go on over to the co-op and get loaded up. All right, we have actually made it here and we got to wait on this train to pass by. So we're going to pull all the way up, make sure our trailer is not in the way. And luckily the train doesn't have too much farther to go here before it gets by us. So we don't have to wait here for far too long. That is our destination right there. And there goes the train. We should be able to go here any moment. And we're going to go roll on in here and get loaded up with that feed. All right, we're all loaded up, closing up the tops, putting the railing down, and we should be good to roll. So let's put some gas behind there and uh, let's get on down the road, shall we? Actually, hold on. Before we actually just fully pull out of here, let's realign here. We're going to go all the way down to the end and we'll go out through the scale. And there it is. 48,720 is what we're weighing out as. So we've got the ticket and we are good to roll. Let's get on down to the destination. Oh, oh man. Oh, that was scary. Whew. I've had to take a minute to calm down. I was flying up over that hill there and there was a tractor in the opposite lane going slow and a car went to like pass that tractor even though they had a no passing through there and I had to I had to ditch it and now I'm on this culvert I don't know if I'm gonna get out of that I think we're gonna have to I think we have to call a wrecker out here to get us out we're a fully loaded semi 48,720 pounds on here I don't think I don't think we're getting out of this this ditch all right so we're, we're bringing in two big old wreckers here one is a rotator and that is going to be used on the trailer the other one which is this one right here is just now showing up and it is going to be used on the truck itself so he's got to get himself turned around so the tow truck is going to try and level itself out and we will get to going on rescuing our semi all right we're making progress as you guys can see we've got the trailer pulled up a little bit more but the truck is having some problems as it's stuck on this culvert down here and they're gonna see if they can reposition and convince this thing to move a little bit more but it seems like it's really stuck on this culvert let's give it some gas easy 
Yep. See, the second we got up, there we go. That's not that steep. I actually flattened out really good right here because of this driveway. So we're good to leave. Our truck hasn't been damaged. It was inspected, but we have made it here. And this area over here, I think, is where they want their feed stored. So we're just going to pull up underneath here and we will get unloaded with their order and guys that is going to be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future and until next time i'll see y'all later can you picture you and me in the darkness kissing touching